Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Black Link Experience. My name is Marva B. I am the CEO and founder of Black Link Magazine, and this is the Black Link Experience. And we're so excited to be here. Nicole, welcome to the Black Experience. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Go ahead and tell the world who you are and what you do. So my name is Nicole Lindy, and I am a singer and songwriter. Um, let's talk about your journey to music. And um, mm -hmm. you're just thinking back, you know, over your life, when was it that you knew it was music for you and that this was the career that you were going to step into? Um, so I've been singing since I was really, really small. Um, my mom was a pastor, so I grew up in church. Um, so I've been singing for my whole life entire life pretty much um but I would say I started my songwriting journey probably when I was around 12 and that's when I really just started to fall in love with music and just singing all the time and it just became a passion so yeah it's something I've been doing since then I can't stop <laughs> Let's talk about some of the things that you did as far as performance along the way to your journey from, you know, back then up until, mm -hmm. you know, recent. Can you, what is, like, what is the most memorable thing that you, you've you done um, along this journey? Like, I used to sing in church all the time, but, like, my friends at school didn't know I could sing. Mm -hmm. um, but I was in choir, but nobody knew I could actually sing, Um and so I um, actually sung at graduation in high school. And so <laughs> it was it was very nerve wracking, but um, it was like an experience that I always carry with me. Cause it's like, if I could sing in front of my peers in high school, I can sing in front of anybody. That's and right. so anytime I get nervous or like, oh my God, I always just go back to that time and it kind of calms oh. down. So. So how do you get connected to be able to, you know, did they ask, did they approach you or did you say, hey, I can sing and I want to do this? Um, so I was in choir and my choir teacher knew I could um, because her and I were very close. Oh. And so she's the one who like convinced me to do it. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about the music business. Because, right. Um, the music business can be kind of grimy atmosphere. Yeah kind of messy, okay. not knowledgeable. Can you tell me about your experience in this business and any experience that you had? And even if you hadn't had any bad experiences, awesome. But but what would advice would you give? Um, yeah, I would definitely say just follow your, um, your gut, your intuition and all that because there are a lot of people that will use you or um, put you in certain positions that you don't want to be in. Thankfully, um, I do trust my gut. So I haven't really... You know, I, I mean, we all be in those situations where it's kind of like, okay, this is kind of shady or a little. So you just kind of have to follow your gut. If you don't feel it's right, then don't do it, um, regardless of what that person is basically trying to sell you, because they will sell you a dream. But you just kind of have to use your common sense and kind of know, um, is this possible or does it seem realistic? Touch your gut and trust God. He'll lead you the right way <laughs> for Absolutely. sure. So. And then, you know, <laughs> along with God, because we, you know, we, everything that we do, we have to have him first. But, right. uh, and along with that, uh, sur I think surrounding yourself with a great people and a good team. Yeah, for sure. A great team is definitely helpful for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us some experiences you had on stages with maybe um, artists or or just maybe some opening acts that you've done along your journey. Um, so I've definitely done a lot of open mics for sure. Um, I've done some here locally in Austin, California, different places like that. Whenever I travel, I try to find like an open mic night yeah. or something like that just to perform um, and just kind of feel like the different crowds and the different energies. Um, I've also performed at South by Southwest. Um, I performed at Loud Fest last year. That was a lot of fun. Um, it was in Houston. Um, it's with the record label called Loud and they do like these festivals every year and they get like different artists from all over the um, country and they come and perform. So it was it was like a two day festival, I believe, oh, wow. or a three day. It was the weekend, I know for sure. Um, but it was a lot of fun and it was like a lot of media outlets there and just a lot of different opportunities for artists for sure. Yeah. So what do you got? What are you currently working on and what do you see yourself doing um, in the next three months, six months, a year? Um, so my team and I are definitely working on a project. Um, 
that's coming along. I think we have most of the songs pretty much prepared. We're just trying to finalize everything. Um, and of course, get the sound and everything right. But um, we'll be dropping a new song called If I Had My Way um, really soon. And we'll be probably dropping some visuals with it as well. So I'm really excited about that. So That's awesome. Yeah. Um, when people are in this industry, and I talk to a mm -hmm. lot of different artists, um, producers, yeah. you know, filmmakers, different people, mm -hmm. how, what do you do to, you know, make sure that your, your mental health is in, intact? Um, for me, I, I'm very, like, I learned to say no a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, if I don't feel it, I have to put myself first. Um, Cause sometimes we will go and go and go and drain and drain and drain ourselves to make other people happy or just even because you're chasing something that you want so bad. But sometimes you have to just take those moments and just relax, um, gather yourself because when you're drained and out of energy, you can't really think you can't process, you make wrong decisions. And so for me, I just, sometimes I'm selfish. Like I will take my days to where I'm just, relaxing and I'm just I say no I don't want to do it today <laughs> I like so. that because this industry can be full of no's and you're not going to get a yes you know it yeah. years and years and and you know yeah. that, that thing you're searching for may not come for years um right. do you ever have moments where you're down on yourself and saying do I really have it is this really what I should be doing um I do I believe um, more so, I don't know if it's to say I don't have it. It's just, um, do I still have the drive to want to pursue it is, is more so the, the thing. Um, I, I know that God gave me a talent and I know I'm supposed to use it, but it's sometimes I lose the passion to want to keep going yeah. um, because it can be it can be draining and it can be a lot of work and you seem like you're not really getting a return on the work that you put in. So it's more so just trying to convince myself to keep going, yeah. to keep pushing. Whatever um, career choice you make, whatever you decide right. to do, that you have to just keep going, especially if it's your passion. Yeah. Love that thing because it could be that moment that you say, I give up. That could have been and that. It could be right around the corner. Yeah. That's so it's true. just like I can't never give up because I don't up, know. Yeah. That you don't know. Yeah. 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 But that's kind of the beauty of it too, because you don't know. Yeah. Because if you did know, then once you get it, it's not yeah. it's not what you expected. Or um you you like, I got it now. So what's to look forward to? But like if it's a surprise and you don't know when it's coming, it's like it makes you want to work that much more because you never know what the next step could be. Or what else you can reach? What other goals is out there? So, because if I knew it was coming next month, well, maybe I yeah, just, would be like, maybe okay. I just wait a couple <laughs> of days before that date gets here. And yeah, because yeah, you gotta um, always, you gotta stay working, you gotta stay developing, you gotta stay, that's true. You know, educating yourself. You, we never mm -hmm. stop learning. You know, and right. you gotta build your network, and you gotta build relationships. It's yeah. just so much that comes. It's a lot, yeah. And so I think instead of focusing on, oh, that moment where I'm just going to, I've made it, focus yeah. on building relationships and developing and all that. That's and I right. think you can take your mind off of if I'm going to ever make it because you're doing what right. you love to love. do. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what do you tell artists, um, new artists coming into this business? Again, I'm going to say it's not an easy business to be in. I don't care if it's, it's not film. It's just not easy. So what advice if they came to you, Nicole? Okay, listen, I'm ready to do this. What is the best yeah. thing you can tell me? Um, I would just say take every opportunity you can. I mean, of course, if it feels right to you, take that opportunity because you never know what can come from it. Um also, you like you never know who's going to make it. You never know who will be able to put you in a certain position. So I would say always like keep your relationships clean. Yeah. Like I don't ever blur lines when it comes to a business relationship because that can um, it can make it messy. Like just keep it strictly business. Keep it a business relationship because once it turns personal, it ain't the same no more. What is for you is for you. 
Can't nobody right. do that. And right. it comes now or later. It's going to it's, it's gonna come. Yeah. Without having to compromise yourself. So I like that yeah. advice that you give. And you know, we yeah. just have to respect ourselves and respect others and That's and right. know that what our lane is, stay in our lane. Um, That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um with that said, I do appreciate you being here. I re- appreciate your time um, oh, coming and the advice that you give. Um, you know, a lot of people will see the interview and mm-hmm. especially the the new independent artists that are coming. Right. And, it. and so the reason I ask these type of questions and I try to get artists to talk about it is because they need to hear it, the truth. Right. Because all they see is the glitz and the glamour, right? Yeah, and that's the behind part. Yeah. The results of it, you know, but uh-huh. what did you go through to get those results? How did you get the exactly? Results? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna get out of here, but before we go, go ahead and tell the world how they can reach you on all social media sites. So you can follow me on Instagram at Nicole Lundy. Um, also on Facebook at Nicole Lundy as well. Um, all of my music is available on all streaming platforms. So Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, all that good stuff. Um, Pandora as well. So yeah, make sure you check me out and look out for the new projects that we have coming out. And um, also follow my team, Southstar Music Group as well. Awesome. You said Southside Music Group? South Star Music Group. South Star. Okay, South Star. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, let's talk about really quick before we go, um, you're getting ready mm-hmm. to drop a single. Um, yes. let's talk about that. Let's talk about who did you write? Did you write the song? Yes, my team and I wrote the song. Yes, it's called If I Had My Way. It's um definitely a sexy song. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little different than what I'm I usually write, but it's yeah, oh, I like it. It's nice. <laughs> I think we have to step outside the box sometimes, right? Try sometimes, something. yeah. Try trying some different, yeah. It's it's spicy. When is it gonna can you tell us when it's gonna be dropping? Um, so right now we're working on getting the promo and everything together. So I would say probably in the next couple of weeks, maybe a month at the latest. So well, we would like to offer as Black Link magazine to um once you once you get it all ready and it's dropped, that we could spin it on the website with the oh, yeah, that would be great. independent artists because we do have a place for that and we can right. spin it on the website for you. Um yeah. and then I I want to ask you, independent or the big machine behind you? Um independent I, I I like independent I like being in control of what I do I don't want anybody to tell me uh what to do and I love my team now because they let me pretty much do yeah. what I feel I need to do for my career and they they support me so again Nicole thank you so much for thank being you here. so much for having yes, me I enjoyed you yeah. um we'll get this uh, together and get it the link sent to you um in the meantime you guys we're gonna go go and support nicole lundy she's giving you her information she's on ig she's on all platforms her music is on all streaming platforms including pandora so let's go support one another so that we can level up we're gonna go but in the meantime we'll, we'll be back again in the meantime remember to respect yourself respect each other god bless god bless you too